All right, let's see what he has to say for himself. There's nothing to suggest that I visited that penthouse. Okay. If there is, then clearly I am not Sir Galante. For as you know, he never leaves behind a shred of evidence. I have never visited any of the locations from this incident. That's a lie. That's a lie. I know that's a lie. Nor spoken with anyone involved save Sir Parker, you liar. I, Virgil Black, hold no connection to this case. You're bullshitting me. You're pulling my leg here, Virgil Black. You mock this establishment with your folly, Sir Wright. You may begin your cross exam- Before that, perhaps it is time for us to raise the stakes. What do you mean? If the defense proves my guilt, then my life is over. Would it not be fair to smite him the same? Oh boy. Ooh, well, I suppose like that's fair. Matters. Like it matters, I have save states. No, it isn't. I know immediately what I have to go to. Nice. It's a good thing I've been paying attention for the most part during this whole case, because if I wasn't, I would not know what the answer is, but I know exactly what um, it is. I, I still... I still think it would be nice to entertaining to press some of these statements, though. Sure. Let's do that. Then. That's because you cleared the scene of evidence before leaving. Hey, I cleared nothing. I have a sinking suspicion it's just because you want to voice this guy more. <laughs> some of, And also because some of his lines are... So, some of the exchange will be rather... We'll get some entertainment out of it. All right. If anybody did such a thing, it would have been Sir Galante himself. After all, did he not have complete access to the crime scene during the investigation? Uh-oh, looks like my own arguments are coming back to bite me. Was there any evidence found that I don't know about? Any DNA or fingerprints? If there was, I would have presented it on the first day. The only evidence we have incriminates the two people who are already suspects. Well, that's no good. What do you mean by that? The Tenebrous Templar is very thorough. He makes no mistakes. How does that prove you aren't Galante? If I was Sir Galante, I would not leave behind proof. If I left behind proof, then I am not he. What kind of logic is that? A type that is beyond your feeble comprehension. <sighs> I understood it just fine. Uh, of, of course, course you did. Of, of course you did, Judge. Wonderful. No evidence, you said. That is correct. His works are perfect. If that's the case, there's no way my client or Waters could be Galante. I am not sure I understand your thinking. I'm not sure I understand your thinking. Sir Galante doesn't leave behind evidence. They did. Are you listening to yourself? You're saying that because there was evidence of them being guilty, they couldn't possibly be guilty. That's exactly what the witness said. I guess it makes sense in a backwards kind of way. Backwards logic are fitting for you. Why aren't you crucifying the frickin' knight in shining armor over there? You have the same logic. That kind of thinking would hardly be sufficient for any sort of verdict. But when he uses it, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Fucking hypocrites. Rafa's just trolling us at this point. <laughs> the other locations? The rooftop, the reception area, the entrance hall. They are all foreign to me. I have never once set foot in that building. The Parker and Madam Keys will both agree with me on this, should you choose to ask them. I am told that the security files go back several years. The cameras would have seen me as well. Is there any way to prove that he's been in the Ravallis Tower? I don't think there is. Because I'm not trying to prove that. I know what I want to prove. There really isn't anything right. I can use to prove it. Maybe this isn't the right way to approach things. You've never spoken with any of them? 
I do not choose to associate myself with those of the Rivalis clan. They are a they are a vile lot. So what about Wayne Parker? And your friend is different? Isn't he one of them? The Parker is a good person who has been trapped by their lies. He is one of their victims, a fly in a spider's web. Have you ever considered that maybe that's true of the other people who have been killed? Who can determine what lies in a person's heart without knowing them first? Then maybe you shouldn't kill people. I do not wish to be connected with the family. So I do not take responsibility for what happens to them, good or bad. Don't know, don't care, is that it? If you wish to express things as such, then so be it. I also do not concern myself with the criticism of others. Alright, last line. What about that photo that was taken? You were seen on the roof. Yes, it was a photo of Sir Galante. So you admit it? Hey, I am not Sir Galante. Oh, yeah. I am Virgil Black, a mere fanboy who chooses to mimic him through costumes and props. Anybody can wear a costume. Dressing up in an eye patch and a bandana will not make you a pirate. Dressing up in medieval armor will not make you a knight. Nor will it make you a killer. I could not have said it better myself, Sir Prosecutor. Is there any way to prove that he's connected to everything? I know he's lying about everything here. The question is where? Just keep looking at suspicious statements. There has to be something we've heard in the past few days that's being contradicted. I know exactly what it is. All right. Yeah, you do. I've never visited any of the locations. Virgil Black. There you go! You motherfucker! <laughs> Nice. Lying is a very uh, Can I tell? Uh huh. I just want to say that it took visual novelty nine minutes and forty-five seconds to figure that out. <laughs> well, hey, I'm doing better, except for all the stuff we pressed. But I knew the answer before we did all that. Exactly. I'm so proud of myself right now. Lying is a is a very unheroic quality. Wouldn't you agree, Mister Black? A haven for the weak and foolish. Then you're weak and foolish. What does that say about you? You told me that you found this letter in the warehouse. And then Detective Gumshoe confirmed its location the other day in his testimony. So you have visited a place linked to this crime. The building that Sir Galante made his escape into. But Mr. Black, did you go into that warehouse? It would be pointless to deny. However, it was not the morning of Michael Rivales' death that I visited there. It wasn't until several hours later when I searched for evidence. It was only then that I found the envelope. He could have gone there at any point in the day. I'm only interested in when the murder happened. I don't suppose you can prove that he was there the morning of the murder. That's a good question. That's a really good question. I don't think I can. I mean, there is the sword here, but he'll just claim that he is in Sir Galante. So I don't think I can. Let's see where this goes. I don't have anything. There's no way I can prove that. I take it that there's no way you can prove that. Yes. Just as I thought. If I can't prove this, then it's all over. I have nowhere to go from here. Mr. Black, you've done enough explaining. I think you can leave. I- sorry, I'm- I'm... skipping ahead in the video I'm watching to make sure I know... Uh... What to do if, don't, don't if, tell if me, we hit a wall. Don't tell me if I've hit the wrong... Don't tell me that I made a wrong decision by saying that I can't. I don't want to know yet. 
or I'll right. Know, I'll right. Know. Uh, I'll 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 only I'll only speak if you need me to. Okay. I applaud you, Sir Prosecutor. You have performed admirably. Just get out of here already. Nick, you can't stop now. Sorry, Maya. I don't have anything to counter his claim. It looks like I won't be able to save Waters after all. I'm not talking about Mr. Waters. I'm talking about you. Wh what? You don't get this guy here and now. You're as good as dead. Oh, yeah, I'm fucked. I just... Because <laughs> I've been trying to, to uncover him this entire time. I'm so screwed if I don't get this. What? Don't tell me you've forgotten what he said yesterday. Well, you know, Sir Galante, he goes around killing gangsters and flying out windows and all that. Dude's a complete badass. A dude like him would probably be way mad if somebody tried to confront him. If he knows you're onto him, he might try coming after you. Don't you get it? That wasn't anything more than a thin thinly veiled death threat! Gah, how did I not see through that? He knows you're onto him now. If he leaves, you can bet he'll come after you, or me maybe even us both. Sir Galante is known for changing his modest operandi. Could Maya and I become his first victims without a blood skull? What am I supposed to do? I don't have any evidence. Remember what Sis always used to always do. Try changing the situation around. Don't think about how you can prove that he wasn't there when he says he was. Show them that he wasn't there for the reason that he says he was. Got it, Maya. Just a moment, Mr. Black. I think I finally figured out the flaw in your explanation. I wait for you to show it. This piece of evidence proves that you were in there for a completely different reason. Not that. Another copy was found in the warehouse across the street. So there's more than one of these. You could try the blackmail letter here. Take that! Well, how about this? What about it? It proves it. Proves what? You know, that, um, thing. What thing? That, uh, never mind. It has to be the hawk, because the hawk hasn't been used for anything else. I'm gonna say the hawk. It's not the hawk. Cute, but no. Alright, I would like a small hint here. Okay. Let's let's think about what what are what statement are we dealing with at the moment? I can't remember, which is the problem. Okay. We're basically Phoenix trying said, we're, we're basically trying to say, I think, that Virgil Black was there for a reason other than looking for this letter. Was where? At the abandoned warehouse. Okay. Well, let's think. Think about the abandoned warehouse. What do you remember about it? I guess he could have been there to cover up the blood skull. 
maybe. And we also found this in the abandoned warehouse. It doesn't say it here, but I remember that we found this weapon there. Yeah, this weapon. That seems like really, really, really big evidence, huh? Yeah. And, so did, and didn't he say that he, w he went there to gather evidence? Yeah. Why would he leave the sword there, though? If he found, Why indeed? If he found this there. There was no reason to leave it there. Mm. Take that! You went into that building and brought back an envelope. I'm not buying it. A pity. Why not? There's no way you could have entered that building and only noticed the envelope. Oh. That's the point. He wouldn't have left the sword there. There was a giant bloody sword lying in plain sight. Why would you choose to overlook the most obvious thing in the room? If you'd really wanted to help with the investigation, you would have brought back the murder weapon, not some random envelope. Why would he choose the envelope over the sword? He already knew that it had been left there since he'd passed through the building earlier. My guess is that he knew it was the, the one thing that would point away from Wayne Parker. That's the note that led to Detective Waters being arrested. This guy is so fucking smart. But that wasn't the only mm. cover-up you tried to do, was it, Mr. Black? <laughs> hey, Taka. You visited the, the warehouse again yesterday, and you made a second attempt to pin the murder on Waters. Yeah, this. Tried to fr Never mind. All right, well, let's go back. You had it earlier, but you may have forgotten. Pity, why Oh shit, we have to go through all this again. Yep, my bad. Forgot to make another save state. I was just all so right. confident. <laughs> Alright, so I want your opinion on something. Mm -hmm. So is is this last part of the case actually difficult and like I'm supposed to be having a difficult time here, or is it actually easy and I'm just being stupid because i feel like it's gotten exponentially harder in this last little bit here it it has like i said visual novelty struggled for a long time in this final duel this guy is so smart it's crazy mm -hmm. he really thought this whole plan out hey he didn't he didn't survive this long in his vigilanteism for by accident Another attempt was made to get Mr. Waters arrested. The gun. Because I still have no idea where this gun came from, how it landed on Gumshoe's head. Like, how did it get flown out the window? That hasn't been answered yet. I think I already made a save, but I'll do another one. Nope, that's not it. Found in a safe in the penthouse. Well, no, it's talking about the abandoned warehouse here. Never mind. Exactly. So, yeah, the gun... The, the gun was nowhere near the penthouse. What You actually had the idea earlier, but you I seem did? to have forgotten I, it. I've forgotten it. God damn it. Of course. The, the blood skull. Yep. You tried to erase your mark. His bloody skull mark? Why would he do that? Yesterday during the trial, we discussed something very important. It's impossible for him to be Galante. He may have been in the Ravales, fan the Ravales penthouse that morning, but for every other time Galante killed somebody, he has an airtight alibi. I don't believe that it was ever proven beyond a doubt that Sir Galante committed this crime. His identifying mark is yet to be found. Until then, everything else can be seen as circumstantial. Waters have been proven to not be Sir Galante. Since the possibility of Galante not being the culprit was still being considered, 
he had to remove the one thing that would have confirmed it. If the bloody skull was never found, Waters would, e- could, would easily be convicted, allowing both Virgil Black and Mr. Parker to walk free. Well, Mr. Black, am I getting close? Not at all. Despite all your efforts, you still have yet to prove anything. Perhaps I chose to not take the sword because, like you said, I realized it would not be essential to pr- proving Sir Parker innocent. There's no way to prove my motivations for that. Just as there is no way to prove that I was at the tower. Maybe you're right. I can't prove it. I don't have any evidence. However, there is one person who could testify about what happened in the penthouse. We're finally gonna get... Uh, what's her name up here? Erykes was in the tower. What would she know about the penthouse? She was at the reception area. Am I back in the thing again? God damn it. Okay. I think you're at the bloody skull. Uh, I need to remember to make save states. I should be tuned in so that I can remind you. You need to remind me to do that. Try. I'm probably going to cut Imagine out. doing this alone back in in the Contempt of Court days. Oh, God. I would have to look at the guide so many times during this part. Yeah, I would, no. I would just be so confused. I'll look at the guide for you. All right. <laughs> to be fair, Contempt of Court was arguably more difficult than this. Because, at least with this, you can eventually figure it out, but some of those contradictions in Contempt of Court made literally no sense. I remember. Oh, I think there was one time in the, uh... The Haunted Turnabout, where the contradiction was with the, the hole in the floor, and it was the fucking autopsy report, and I was just completely confounded as to how that would possibly be correct. That sounds familiar. That that sucks. Okay, so we're talking about the penthouse. Mark Sarah Waters. Keys was at the reception area, so Mark it can't Waters. be her. Mark Waters. There you go. He was in the penthouse. Mark Waters. The, de- the detective. There's a reason why things happened the way they did. That was the morning the lead detective was scheduled to meet with Michael Ravallis. By killing Ravallis then, he could remove two enemies at once. After all, who would want to keep hunting for somebody after they've saved your life? The fact that Waters entered the pit, the building has been proven. Are you sure that he was in the penthouse during the murder? I think we can leave that up to him to tell us. I suppose so. Bailiff, bring us Detective Waters. Now! Alright, I'll take over for Obadiah again. Alright. <laughs> you... You know why you're here. I... I... Yeah, I do. I believe we can skip the formalities. Tell us what happened. Right. Now's your chance, Waters. You can finally end this case. The night is the darkest before the dawn. That's a fucking killer line. Also, I'm probably gonna have to split this episode into this this session into two episodes because it we're we're nearing two hours right now. Damn. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. I went to meet with Ravallis that morning. He was blackmailing me and I had no choice but to respond. Sir Galante showed up and killed him. He seemed to know that I was going to be there. That was a short testimony. When you say that you saw Sir Galante, do you mean the witness, Mr. Black? I couldn't tell you that. He was completely covered in armor. Armor? So Mr. Hacken's camera wasn't just seeing things. No, I suppose it wasn't. Detective, I believe that we will be able to trust you with this testimony. Am I correct in that belief? You bet, boss. Good. What did he mean by that, Nick? He's the prosecutor. It's his job to doubt the suspect, no matter who he is. you now how did you get in there i walked in the front door like a normal person 
covered this yesterday in great detail. Didn't we, Mr. Right? That, didn't we write? <laughs> Sorry, I had a bunch of Benadryl before this. Uh, yes, we did. Did anybody else see you coming in? Yeah, they both did. Sarah Keys and Wayne Parker? Those two. Miss Keys was actually expecting me, so I was able to walk right past her. No sneaking involved? Nah, I didn't need to. Ah, no ninjas necessary. How did the meeting go? Not very well. I mean, he tried to kill me and all. Sounds like things got a bit out of hand. I'm pretty sure it would have ended like that no matter what. That guy was nuts! He overpowered me and stole my gun! When he realized it was empty, he tried to load it himself. Empty? Yeah, I never carry a loaded gun. I don't think I could ever kill anyone, even in self-defense. Where did Ravalis get the bullets? I had them and they spilled out in the light in the fight. He was gonna use those. You might be able to avoid situations like that if you followed regulations. If I did, then I'd be dead right now. I'm only alive because it was empty when he first tried to use it. It's because it was empty that you were beaten in the first place. Well, in the end, it doesn't really matter because... What does Sir Galante look like? Well, I guess he kind of looks like that guy in the night suit over there. So you didn't actually see his face? No, he had a helmet on. That's rather unfortunate for you. Being the blame on a mysterious armored figure is no less suspicious than the defendant accusing you. You don't think we can trust him? They're both murder suspects. What makes you think we can trust either of them? Suspects will always lie to save themselves. It's a... I don't like it, but the evidence from yesterday must not be ignored. Hey, I'm telling the truth! I guess I'm the only one who will be backing him this time. He was expecting you? Yeah, he addressed me by my name. He knew who I was. It was kind of scary. How many people knew you were going to be there? Just me, Rick, and I guess whoever Ravel has told. We have no way of knowing how many people that was. True, but there is something we do already know. We know that both the defendant and Miss Keys were at least aware of the fact that Ravellas was meeting with somebody. It's possible that one of them told him. With time to plan, it's not a stretch to say that he could have accomplished this. Conjecture. Sustained. Everything I've said today has been conjecture. That's exactly the problem when you're facing a serial killer. It removes every last bit of evidence from the crime scene. Mr. Waters is our last hope for this. Do you think he'll pull through for us? He fucking better. He'll have to. It's the only way he's going to make it out of here a free man. There's a lot at stake here. If we lose, he goes to jail. And you go down in history as the evil attorney who framed an innocent detective. Please don't say that right now. What happened next? Next? How did Sir Galante escape from the room after he killed Rivalis? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. This is rather important. We're gonna need to hear it. He flew out the fucking window! Well, uh... Mm. <laughs> do I do Rivalis? Or do you want me to do Rivalis? I, I suppose it doesn't um, really matter, but... It doesn't. I don't know you're home back. No, please don't tell me what I want to know. Nothing I can do about it. You know, I don't... I don't got that kind of authority. Well, thanks just don't know. Find some way. Get it to me. Yeah, right, man. You think I'd risk everything for a guy like you? You already have, just by coming here. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Say what you want. This deal's over. I'm out of here. Shower waters, but I can't let you do that. Oh, hey, what do you think you're doing? Sure, Galante. Finally have you. Sir, uh, huh? I'm just glad I found you before the police did. I could personally kill the man who's tried so hard to ruin me. 
Michael Revales, I have finally, f I finally have you. What the? You, whoever you are, please help me. Sir Detective, I trust you are unharmed. You're actually him, aren't you? I am. Y you killed him. I did what had to be done. There were no courts on earth for men like him. You are lucky my accomplice let slip of your meeting today. Otherwise, you might now be dead. Now that you've seen me, can you still continue your quest? Now that I've saved your life? I... I can't. I don't know. I trust you will do the right thing. Farewell, Sir Detective. Perhaps we will meet again someday. Perhaps we won't. That's basically what happened. <laughs> Phoenix. Mm. Really? <laughs> I have to be the one who says it? <laughs> People can't fly, detective. Hey, I know what I saw. I swear I'm not crazy. I saw a guy jump out of a building and fly across the street. He landed on the building across the street, huh? That's the same one we proved Mr. Black had been in. Don't tell me you actually believe this nonsense. I didn't say that. As strange as it is, though, it's an important part of his testimony. I think we should add it. Well, detective. Yes, sir. <laughs> we might as well be adding. Oh, by the way, I'm crazy. I knew this was going to come up. Looks like it's finally time to solve the mystery of the flying armored man. All right, you know what to do. Uh, I know exactly what to do. It's the All fucking right. hawk. No, I'm just kidding. Objection. There you go. I think I've solved our little puzzle here. Take a look at this. What is that? It looks like some kind of bungee cord. That's exactly what it did. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. I love this music. It's a harness attached to a rather long cable. One piece was found on the roof of the Revalis Tower, the other in the warehouse across the street. We already know that's where he escaped to since his sword was found there. It's entirely possible he was using it as a temporary base of operations. But isn't that the building that Detective Gumshoe and Waters met in? They weren't there the whole time. By the time they'd left, the blackout had started. The plan was already in motion and Galante was on his way there. You're suggesting he bungeed his way across? Not really bungeed, more like climbed. He attached one end of the cable to his starting point and the other to something sturdy on the tower. Something like, perhaps, the lightning rod. He climbed the, up the cable to the top, rappelled down through the pinhouse's open window, and killed his target. After that, he leapt out of the window and let himself be carried down. Just like a zip line. <laughs> Nay! You are fool to even suggest such a thing! This thing was in two pieces for a good reason. That being the killer wasn't able to bring both of them with him when he left. After reaching the bottom, you could only disconnect one end of the cable. The other end, the one attached to the tower, was still hanging. You have nothing to suggest that- You have nothing, though, to suggest that such a thing took place! There is no proof that such a device was ever used! My proof is Maya. Oh, I believe that I do. Okay. Let, let me make sure to save here, just in case. Okay, no, no, it's not Maya. How is it Maya? <laughs> because Maya used it. She used the bungee cord. Well... Sure, but... But it's... We're talking about him not being able to detach both pieces, right? That's the part that kind of confuses me a little bit. Well... I, I there, guess, there is I, a guess I just use this. I, I, I guess. No. It says it's in two pieces. Well, 
think. What was he not able to disconnect? The part is I can't remember. I, I just cannot remember for the life of me. I cannot remember which piece was where. All right, well, where, where did he move? From the tower down to the warehouse. Exactly. Now, what was left behind in the tower? That's not part of the harness. I know, I know. I was just looking at it just to make sure. Okay. But I, I, I don't have the pieces separate here. I can't prove where the other piece was. You can. stuck here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I don't know what the question We're is. I, I, I don't know what's going on. We're trying to prove that he used a bungee device. Okay. Now he, now again, he traveled from where to where? The tower to the warehouse. Okay. Do we have evidence of the, do we have evidence either at the tower or the warehouse that, of the device. Because we either need to present evidence of the, of the existence of the device at the tower or evidence of existence of the device at the warehouse. Well, here it says that one part was found on the, the, the Ravalli's tower roof and the other was inside the warehouse. And I tried that exactly. and it didn't work. Well, yeah, because the, the harness, we just we, we just found it, but it doesn't prove that it was used. Talking like I know anything. I'm sure that if I was in your shoes, I'd be none the wiser. I'm really confused right now, but I'm going to try the blackmail letter here because a, a copy of it was found and Michael Ravalis sent this out. No. That has nothing to do with the harness. There is literally nothing else about the harness here. It's just the harness. Uh oh, there is. am I missing? No, no, no cameras on the roof, not that. I guess because there's a, there's a little line here, but that could just All be right. a power line. About well, time. let's see. We're part of this group. Okay. All right. I, I understand now. I understand now. I was just being stupid. Oh my God. Cody may have not realized it at the time, but he took a picture of more than just Sir Galante. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I was just really lost there. All right. The cable can clearly be, the cable can clearly be seen here. You do not know whether they are one and the same. And this does not explain how I was supposedly able to attach it to the lightning rod in the first place. That's right. There's no way you could have done that. You would have had to fly. Just you would. He would have to fly just to bring the other end up. Sir Judge, I assure you that I am incapable of flight. Maybe you aren't, but you did have another way of attaching the other end. Another. F oh God damn it! No. The hawk. There you, you go. You weren't alone that morning. You had somebody there to help you reach all those annoying too high to reach places. All right, Sir Galante is back on the stand, so back to you. 
Oh, oh yeah. Right, so Mr. Black isn't the one who can fly. It's his accomplice. Exactly. Ex what? I suppose that somebody isn't the proper term here. You had something. A hawk. A hawk? Perhaps the one that perched on his shoulder right now? If you've noticed, it comes wherever it, whenever it sees a sword. It also helps. Did you that ever this... notice that? No, I did not notice that. It also helps that All this right. hawk seems to treat the roof of the Ravallis Tower as its home. You had a very effective method of carrying the cable up there with a trained hawk. How clever of you! Yet you seem to still be missing the bigger picture. I'm always missing the bigger picture. Whether or not my friend here was able to carry up the line, I still could not enter that building. It was impossible for me to do it all by myself. I needed an accomplice. A human accomplice. Actually, you're right. For this specific crime, you needed some help. You had somebody working from the inside. Ha! As if I would lower myself to the level of the Revalis family. Who then was it? Who aided me in my quest? Finally. There you go. You were even, waiting for this. Even within his own ranks, Michael Revalis had plenty of enemies. I'm guessing that it wasn't very hard for you to find somebody willing to betray him. There were, there were plenty of holes in Syracuse's testimony. We were able to find answers for some of them. Others, we weren't. You... you don't mean... Miss Keyes was the one who helped him enter the building. What better reason to lie in her testimony than to save her own life? What on earth would compel her to do something like that? Sarah was never loyal to Ravallis. When she was a young girl, her father was killed as a hit job from the family. The only reason she joined him was so that she could plot his death. In that case, I only have one more question for you. I'll bet I'll have an answer. Is there any evidence that points toward her involvement? Do you have anything to support this? I believe I do. What's the piece of evidence that incriminates Syracuse as Galante's accomplice? Someone had to activate the fuse box. Indeed. There are actually a few things that point to her. First, we have the penthouse window. I seem to recall that it can only be opened from the inside. She could go in there anytime she wanted. Secondly, there was the fuse box on the roof, which she could also easily access. She could attach the device onto it so that Galante could later trigger it via remote. And finally, there's the harness. Galante's hawk so there's couldn't... multiple correct answers to this you could have used. Oh. Galante's hawk couldn't attach the cable without any hands. Somebody else needed to be up there. Miss Keys was in a perfect position to do all of these things. The blackout hit gave her the perfect cover for it. She just needed to make sure that she was back at her desk when it was over. So that whole story about her losing a cell phone? All a lie. She needed to come up with some excuse in order to keep the blame on Mr. Parker. You believe that I would try to frame my good friend? I would never betray him like that! I never said you would, but it's clear that Miss Keys had an agenda of her own. This whole case has been a setup. Excuse me? Is it. Wait. Excuse me? What's the am matter? I the, am I the only one confused by that that statement? It's all been a setup? I... It could have been worded differently, for sure. I guess I could try the knife, because it, it... It's... It's set up to be Parker? Exactly. Ever since it was found, this knife has been nothing but a big contradiction. It doesn't even fit the victim's wound, yet somehow it was accepted as the murder weapon. Why is that? I believe it was Miss Keys who reported it in. Ugh. 
Mr. Parker told me the other day that his knife had gone missing. From there, somehow it ended up at a crime scene in which Sarah was the only witness. But why would she? To frame him, obviously. She wanted revenge on him just as much as she did on Rivalis. To her, this whole scenario was a way for her to, almost literally, kill two birds with one stone. As his friend, Mr. Black had no intention of seeing my client behind bars. But Miss Keys did. After Ravellas was killed, she entered the penthouse and planted the knife. Then, she called the police and let them know that a murder had taken place, making sure to give them just enough reason to arrest Mr. Parker. Madam Keys, you are a fool! Kristoff? Is that Kristoff Gavin? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Mr. Black, now we're going to have to switch to a different courtroom. That's what you're worried about? Do you have any idea how much those things cost? Sorry, Sir Judge. It won't be necessary to change rooms, Your Honor. But the witness stand! It's just a block of wood. The court is not a building and furniture, but a group of people gathered to deliver justice. You can get the bench replaced later. We're almost finished here. Perhaps for you. For me, I believe that it is time to depart. You, you can't, you can't do that. No. No. You leave an interesting tale, Sir Wright, yet it is not in the least bit believable. Oh my god, just accept your defeat, man. You have not pr you have not proven anything. All the evidence you have shown could just as easily be used against the detective or Madame Keys. Or... Oh. As much as I hate to admit it, Sir Parker. I knew confidential information because my friend shares his woes with me. I was in the abandoned building because I wished to help your investigation. The rest does not point to me at all. He is right, you know. There's no evidence that directly incriminates him. Come on, this isn't right. The juror system was supposed to do away with things like this. Whatever happened to common sense? Sometimes, evidence is common sense. You have nothing, so your words mean nothing. You cannot convict a man with baseless accusations. You have shown how Sir Galante committed the murder. You have not shown that I am he. Piece of shit. Indeed. Does the prosecution have anything to show that I, Virgil Black, killed Michael Rivales? No. You, Sir Wright, do you? No. And there is no more reason for me to stay. A judge, Your Honor? Hmm. No, I don't suppose we can force you to stay. No, he can't leave now. Unless he suddenly decides to confess, it looks like it's all over. Confess. And you think of anything that would make him do that? The confession might actually still be within our reach. I have to chan I have to chance it. Wait, Mr. Black, before you go, there's something I'd like to show you. Something I'd like to remind you about. Very well, Sir Lawyer. If you insist, you may show me one thing, and one thing only. If you have anything to prove that this man killed the victim, you'd better do it now. Actually, I don't have to prove anything, but I'd like to show him something nonetheless. So... I think I have... This is it. I think I have an, an, an inkling of what I'm supposed to do here. You want to tell me? This photo. Ooh. That's my idea. I'm not but sure. But why? Huh. That is the question. If I show him that, because he's on this hit list, he.
Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, the Ravellis family's hit list. And Ravellis himself made this list. Sin Parker nope. beforehand. Wait a minute. What? What do you mean, nope? No, I said so. Oh, you said so. Sin Parker beforehand to try and settle things. And Parker stood there and did nothing. Okay. Uh, okay. What? Why relevance? I, I'm just not sure what else would make him confess at this point. Well, it would, if you, if you look at all the, if you think about all the evidence, you're going to find that your options are pretty limited at this point because to, to force, to force a confession out of somebody, you have to, you, you have to basically corner them. Like, uh, it's like Phoenix said back in Turnabout Serenade, you have to find his fuse and set it off. So how 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 could how could we how could we corner him psychologically? Again, I'm honestly, I'm honestly only thinking about the photo right now, psychologically at least. I'm gonna try it. I see. You, you do? Yes. I see a lawyer who has nothing left to say. Shit. Damn it. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, get rid of that. Again, what did, what, what did that have to do with anything? Like it, that, that, that photo, if anything, would just prove his, his pr prove that his existence is justified or something. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make uh. him confess be, because he'd say he, something like that. He'd say, this is why this city needs Sir Galante. That's all he would have to say about that. Oh. Look over every piece of evidence, like, carefully. All right. Every piece. Magatama? No. Autopsy report? No. Black, blackout data? No. Security system? Are you reading carefully enough? I still don't think it's the autopsy report. Okay. Blackout data. I honestly think that's not really important. Okay. If there's if there's something I'm supposed to remember here, I'm not remembering it. So, I'll 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 help you if if needed. What are you thinking? Protect the innocent. If if he doesn't Protect follow if, if he doesn't follow this, Mark Waters will go down. Exactly. Take that. Could you please take a look at this? It's a poster of Sir Galante. I saw a young man handing them out in front of the courthouse. This is what you wanted to show us? If we wanted to know what Galante looked like, we could have just looked over at the witness. It's not the picture, it's what's written on it. Sir Galante's creed has two rules. One, slay the evil. And two, protect the innocent. Fucking gotcha. Sir Galante has inspired fans, such as the creator of this poster, for one very simple reason. He represents the triumph of, of good over evil. To them, he is a hero. And... Nothing more. That is all. Hmm. Why do you insist on wasting our time like this? This teaches us nothing. 
Is that really all the defense wishes to show us? Yes, Your Honor. Well, I'm afraid then that there is nothing more for us to discuss here. Are you sure that was the right thing, Nick? I didn't get a penalty, so I think so. We'll see, though. I hope you know what you're doing. The defense has nothing more to say. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. The jury may decide its verdict. No, this isn't right. I won't hide anymore. I did it. I killed Michael Ravallis. I am Sir Galante. Y you are? Well, thank you for clearing this up. But I don't understand. Why are you confessing? You could have walked away. No, Sir Judge. It is I who didn't understand. Detective Waters is innocent. By not confessing sooner, I almost sent him to his death. It would have been no worse had I personally ended his life. I wanted to make this city a better place. When I start placing my own interests before those of others, I know that it is time to retire. I have failed to protect the innocent, as I'd hoped I'd do. I'm no hero. There's more to being a hero than just fighting bad guys. Protecting the innocent should always come before punishing the guilty. Yes, such is the difference between a hero and a vigilante. It appears that I am no better than those I sought to destroy. You have fought well, Sir Wright. Thank you for stopping me before I did something truly horrible. Sir Detective, Wayne, I am sorry. Now that we have a confession, I believe that we can end this trial. It's finally over. I thought this case might never be solved. Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you, Mr. Williamson. You're welcome. Three years. I was on this case for three years. And now you come and solve it in three days without any help. That's not true. I had plenty of people help me. I couldn't have done it without them. I don't know who you think you are, right? But this doesn't end here. I still know what you've done to get where you are today. There really is no changing your mind, is there? Bah! I believe that it is time to hand things over to the jurors. The verdict is back. Thanks to the confession, the decision was unanimous. The jury has found the defendant, Wayne Parker, not guilty. <laughs> Just the fucking broken witness stand on the... Uh. Court is adjourned. By the way, I put a GIF in the Discord server. I mean, in the Discord chat, and it... Jelly? To, uh, Jelly? What the... What? The f what? <laughs> Jealous AF. Jelly AF. Jelly AF, why? That's... That, that's Williamson. You... <laughs> you... You solved the case in, yep, that's... in just a matter of days, and he couldn't do it in years. <laughs> All right. You can do him if you want. All right. Yeah, Pops, you did it! I have you two to thank for that. Nah, you're just being modest. You're the real hero here. Yeah, Nick. You just took down a serial killer and saved two people in the process. I guess four, if you count us. It must make you feel better to know you're not going to be bisected in your sleep tonight. Why are you smiling when you're saying that? Yes, I must say that it does. It's right. Defender of the innocent and foe to all that is evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, gee, thanks, you guys. Maybe you should take up the mantle of Sir Galante oh, now. Oh no, how about not? I might pass on that one. Nick couldn't do that. He'd be afraid of the flying part. <sighs> right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wright. I'd be a dead man without you. Mr. Parker, is everything all right? You should be celebrating. I just... why? What are you talking about? Why what? You mean your friend Mr. Black, don't you? <laughs> well, I didn't do it, Mr. Wright. 
The Virgil I knew wasn't crazy. You wouldn't go around killing people for no reason. Well, I can't really say for sure. I can't read minds. Right, I knew that. However, if I had to guess, I would say that this is why you did it. This is where the photo goes. Because this, um, this, this, this little girl lost her father. And he goes around killing people who mess with people's lives. I really Make a save state. Yep, yeah, I'm of course I'm gonna do that. I think this should explain everything for you. No, not God really. God damn it. Think, I'm never right. Okay. Don't don't think about Sarah. Think about th think about Wayne. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, Vir why why would Virgil do it? I don't think reasons related to Sarah are really gonna make um Wayne feel better right now. Are you tired? Should I just tell you? Just tell me. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. He, he, he did it for his friend. So just Wayne? Yeah. He did it for you, Mr. Okay. All right. I mean, that makes it. I. <sighs> okay. I, I'll, I'll, of course, give a review at the end, but this trial was really good and then I got stuck but it's not because the trial itself was constructed incorrectly or like bad the answers were all right there I just couldn't get it for a little bit it, it wasn't like the contradictions in uh, like the second case or the first case of contempt of court for example where it was just nonsensical answers the answers made sense it was just really difficult to understand oh. alright you're did not it the only one he did it for you Mr. Parker what? <laughs> You've been a close friend to him for a long time. You saw how much the Ravalis family was destroying your life. You wanted to help. With the police force too scared to do anything, he took the only course of action that made sense to him. Virgil, I, I can't believe it. He did all of it to protect me. You can finally leave them now, Mr. Parker. You're free. Ah. Thank you, Mr. Rot. Thank you both for everything. And so ended the Sir Galante murders. After a long and bloody three years, the law had finally managed to catch up with them. However, for me, this was just the beginning. Another case solved. A flying armored superhero. What are they going to come up with next? And then there's this. <sighs> Pearl, I hope you're safe, wherever you are. I hope you're... I'm gonna assume this is Maya. Okay. You can't get rid of that. Oh, nope. <gasps> oh, it's Trucy. <laughs> She'll... She'll notice if you do. We both know what that would mean to her. Why are you so quiet, Daddy? You can tell me. I guess I was just thinking about her. I miss her. Aya does too. She'll never give up trying to find you, Pearls. Do you know that, wherever you are? episode two of it <laughs> well that's a that's a heartbreaking way to end the case great <laughs> hey it just it it just shows that we've got a phoenix right yeah i know the guy he's a real jerk i still can't believe he tried to frame me for murder what did i ever do to him i'm just glad that we probably won't ever be working on the same case together again Oh, oh you, sh you shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that, Mark Waters. That is a uh, kind of just setting things up to, to uh, for you to be on the same case as Phoenix again. <laughs> I know Mr. Williamson wouldn't like to hear me say this, 
But it really is good to have Ryan back as an attorney. I probably should tell Mr. Edsworth. He'd like to know too. And again, he probably already knows. He always seems to find out things before I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, too bad for you, Gumshoe. That was a marathon. That was literally like, that feels like doing a two kilometer run. That was crazy. Like, Glad I could help. Yeah, especially, thank you for helping. I would have been really, really fucking stuck if you weren't here. <laughs> you have no idea how amazing it was to play detective these past few days. No way they could have caught it without my help. You know, I kind of think I'd make a good lawyer myself. I should go to law school so I can be just like Mr. Wright. I wonder if I'll get super lawyer powers then too. <sighs> Become a detective, Cody. Become a detective. Yeah. Look up to Emma. Yeah. But yeah, I would have been extremely stuck if you weren't here helping. So thank you for that. Glad to help. Thank you for letting me voice the characters I yes. wanted. Okay, so case review. I'm going to give it right now. That was... Uh, there might still be lines to read. Oh, shit, you're right. I guess I should wait until the lines are over. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to get interrupted in the middle of my review here. Dude with a mask. Random advice. What a credit. <laughs> right. The legendary Phoenix Wright, what about him? You're not another one of his fanboys come to gloat, are you? I can't believe you people actually like him. That man is a joke. Just you wait if I ever prosecute another one of his cases. You can be sure that I'll reveal him for the creep that he is. We'll <sighs> deal with you eventually. Uh, oh, you're never gonna change. <sighs> oh, he'll change maybe in the final trial. <laughs> That's when they all come around. Oh, that's what her theme is. I thought her theme was something there you from, go. I thought her theme was something from like Mario Party. It sounded like something that would play in a Mario Party uh, mini game. Not a bad guess. Hey, Professor Layton. Nice. I feel like I should play some of those games at some point. I've never played a pref, pref fuck. Whatever. Never mind. I turned myself in. It wasn't easy, but I did. The gods are saying I'll probably be let out early for good behavior. I don't think that's right. But now that Mr. Valles is gone, I can finally live my own life. I can't thank Mr. Right enough. Uh, yep, that's it's pretty clear. I'm they both curious. inspired each other. Yeah, I'm curious if Contempt of Court inspired every single fan game. Was it the first one to come out? It was the first one to come out, but I think Contempt of Court was... I mean, whoops. Nick won barely a month since he got his badge back, and he's already managed to put a serial killer behind bars. It's going to be kind of hard for him to top that. All right, what are you uh, saying? Maya, you're tempting fate. <laughs> Thank you, uh, yeah. Rafa. If I remember correctly, I think Conflict of Interest was finished first. But Contempt of Court started coming out first. It released some of its cases before this came along. Right. Ooh. Okay. Orange um, text. Do you know who this is? Let me look ahead. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so the orange okay. text, okay. believe it or not, is Obadiah. Oh, okay. How's the investigation going? And I'll voice this other character. I okay. You don't know who he is, but I know who he is. Okay. Um. Things are stop finally starting to come together. That's good to hear. I can't say for certain. 
But I'm betting that I'll have the answers to everything within a few months. That soon? Excellent. You don't know how happy I am to hear that. You haven't shown any interest before. Why the sudden change? What do you mean by that? It's been all I've thought about since that case. Finally, I can finish what we started. Finally, I can have my revenge. Revenge? <laughs> Didn't know you felt that strongly, Obadiah. Uh. The way I voiced that character, I will leave as to what kind of character this person is and what purpose they serve. I'll just leave that to your imagination until the reveal. All right. Well, all right. Now I'm going to actually give my case reveal real quick. So. All right. That was extremely good. Like, it felt just like an official case. It's so crazy. It was extremely good. I only struggled in that last part, and that wasn't the game's fault. That was just, I just couldn't understand what was going on. It was, like, objectively hard to understand, at least at least in my opinion. It was kind of hard to understand some of that. But overall, that was extremely good. I love that. Very good case. I'm, I'm so glad to hear it. You want to know what's crazy? What? Of all the, of the cases that Ropefa has written... He considers the rogue turnabout to be the worst of the cases. If that's his worst, then what the fuck is his best? Oh God. Okay. All right. Well, well that, <laughs> that 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 just what that says about what the rest of the game is going to be like. We'll find out. Although I will say that the rogue turnabout did undergo several rewrites, and and not to mention all the sprite changes, which someday you can watch older playthroughs to see what the improvements made were. Hmm. Well. Also, you said that the, it was that we ended the Rogue Turnabout on a depressing note. Well, it's just to remind you of the big picture in this, in the, in the overarching story here. But also, I can promise you that the next case, the, the third case is going to be an emotional roller coaster. It will make you it, it will make you laugh and it will make right. you in utter despair. Oh god. <laughs> Monokuma is somewhere laughing his ass off <laughs> in the background. <laughs> despair. Exactly. <sighs> well, we'll get to that next time. Some sometime in the distant future because well you you know what's going on with me i'm i'm yeah. gonna be unavailable for the next two weeks but luckily uh this is two hours and 42 minutes of footage so yeah this is definitely going to be split into two episodes so excellent yeah i i have you covered for the next two weeks awesome all right well uh we're gonna get into I took a screenshot of all the case names a while back. Let me go and see what the next case is called. Or I, I could might, just tell you. Uh, just tell me what the... All right, you, you do the outro. This is, this is your time. All right. Stay tuned for case three, Turnabout on the Web.